Uh, hello, I'm back basically for a shade lamp modeling tutorial part 5. So last where I left off, like, we were actually modeling, so I was actually modeling the shade lamp. And I was just selecting quite a few images from the shade lamp or so itself. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually getting different reference image of what the different types of shade lamps that I can uh, that I'm producing and all that and that's it and these are my reference images I think I choose this one as kind of like a reference of what I was doing I think And yeah, I was I actually picked the middle one right there, this one right here. So when I was modeling, I was modeling the actual thing. So I went into top view, and I added circle. And I went into extrude. Mm -hmm. Extrude down and up. Scale. And I started hitting quick fillet or so, which is extract around or quick fillet tool, I think. Which is called basically the edge segment or so, which I call that or so. So I kind of click that and then I kind of go into loop selection and then I just basically just went into scale and I started scaling these things down pretty much So I started selecting the different sections. I went into edge selection, loop, scale, and then I started scaling the image itself and I started scaling. And I started scaling a lot of things to get the right shape. So I kind of went into right click, scale on there. Then I actually started shaping it out in a way where it's exactly like the exact thing in a way so I'm kind of like shaping it out getting out the general shape of the object itself
And then I just basically fill polygon and I went poke face or triangulate face. And then I went ring selection, I duplicate the same object, I scaled it, and I add sickness on there. And then I went, I select the selection, the route selection, I went extrude. And then I go into extract around, and then another extract around, and that's what I end up with so far. And then I rescaled it. And I think this part right here, I started like adding, uh, I started adding the cylinders and start making the shade lamp part right here of the object. That's why I start doing and then I basically start, you're right, scaling this up and scaling it down to get the right shape. And then rotating it. And then I select this. And then I hit extrude on item. Then I hit poke face. And duplicate symmetry.
quick fill it around and then I started making the base of the, the, the lampshade of the object And then I just went down basically with the circle and I kind of like went out and tried to increase the size of that and and I went basically uh, Gordon surface right there. And then I add a couple of su subdivisions in the mesh itself to make it smooth properly. And that's, and that's what it looks like. And that's a completed product, pro product here, here, lady, ladies and gentlemen. That's a full completed version of this. So that's what it looks like. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like my tutorial. And stay tuned for definitely for sure. I mean, that's, I mean, it was a tutorial. I mean, part five is the last one. So I hope you liked this tutorial. So if you liked this tutorial, please subscribe, give me likes or anything like that. And that's it. Please subscribe, give me likes, give me very positive comments. And I hope I can help you out a whole lot. Thank you, goodbye. Keep on bringing those subscriptions and those subscribings and likes all the time. Keep bringing that up, bringing those things in. And a positive like comments too at the same time I would really appreciate it and I hope I can help the YouTube community and all basically the people that that subscribe my fans and all my fans thank you goodbye and I hope you enjoy this